This video tutorial will explain how to use machine learning to train an object detection neural network through TensorFlow Object Detection API on Google Colab. For this tutorial, I will explain how to train playing card detector that can identify cards 9 through 8 even when there is busy background and the cards are overlapping using Google Colab. All the images, data, and scripts needed are provided in the github page linked in the video description below. This github page also has a written version of this tutorial that this video will follow. Before we proceed, Please be sure to install Anaconda with Python 3.6 as Anaconda virtual environment will be used for rest of this tutorial. Once you have got Anaconda installed, the next step is to get TensorFlow object detection directory in Anaconda virtual environment setup. So let's get started. We will go to local disk C and create a new folder named TensorFlow1. Now we will download the full TensorFlow models repository from the video link given in the description below. Once it's done downloading, extract the zip folder. and transfer the models transfer folder directly into tensorflow1 folder. Let's rename the folder to models. Second, go to the tensorflow models zoo page using the link in the description below. Tensorflow provides several object detection models which are pretend classifiers that has specific neural network architecture. For this tutorial, we will be using faster RCNN model. It has lower speed but a higher accuracy. Click the link to download it. Once the faster RCNN tar file is downloaded, extract its content and transfer them to object detection folder. Finally, go to Edge Electronics GitHub repository, which is linked in the video description below. Let's download the repository. This has images and annotation data needed to train playing card detector. It also has the python scripts that will be used to generate training data. Once downloaded, extract it and open it up and copy all the files to object detection folder. Replace the existing files with the new ones. In this video, I will use the existing card images and show you how the TFR records are generated and how the training file is configured. We will go to the image folder and delete the test and train level CSV files. We will keep the test and train images intact as we will use the existing dataset. If you want to train your own custom dataset to use your own images, go ahead and delete them and watch the video linked in the description.
Now it's time to set up Anaconda virtual environment. This portion needs typing a lot of commands in the command prompt. All the commands are written in Edge Electronics GitHub page. You can either type the commands or copy paste the commands. Let's open the Anaconda command prompt and run it as administrator. To create a new virtual environment TensorFlow 1 type conda create dash n TensorFlow 1 pip. Activate TensorFlow 1 by typing Activate TensorFlow 1. Now activate the TensorFlow GPU. Once it's done, we need to install some other necessary packages. Now type the command conda install dash c anaconda protobuf. This will install the protobuf compiler. Next install pillow by typing pip install pillow. Then install lxml by typing pip install lxml. Install Jupyter by typing pip install Jupyter. Next thing to install is Mathplot library. Go ahead and type pip install Mathplotlib. There are two other packages, Pandas and OpenCV, which aren't used by TensorFlow but will be used by XML to CSV and generate TF records. So we need to install them too. To install them, enter pip install pandas. Now type pip install opencv python. Okay, so all packages have been installed. Now we need to add some folders to the environment variable. The command for this a bit longer, so I will copy it from the web page. Now it has given a python path variable direction to the model folder, model research folder and model research subfolder. 
Now we add python path variable to path variable by typing set path equal to path semicolon python path. Now you can see what it does to the environment by typing echo path. Now we need to compile the Prodova files. For this, let's change our directory to research folder. And now run this long command to compile the Prodova files. After this, we will find that for every pb2 file, a Prodova file has been created. So there are two more commands to run, python setup.py build and then python setup.py install. Ok, TensorFlow Object Detection API is all set to use pre-trained models for object detection or train a new one. Now we need to change our directory to object detection folder. For this run, change directory command. Now to create CSV file, we need to run the following command. As you can see that CSV file has successfully been created. So this creates test level and train level CSV files. These CSV files have the coordinates of bounding rectangle for every object in every image. Now we will go and open generate tf records python file inside object detection folder. We will keep the labels unchanged as we are using the existing dataset but you can always change them if you use your own dataset. Now we need to generate tf records. To generate this and other necessary steps including training, generating interface graph and testing will be completed in Google Colab.